Hey guys, Mike here. Welcome back to another episode. You know what? I was just thinking about making a TikTok. And have you ever seen the ones where it's like, uh, do you ever look at someone and wonder what were they thinking? Then it's like, dun 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 dun. Anyways, I was thinking about looking at my trucks and I was like, you know, do you ever look at someone and think, what were they thinking? <laughs> uh, it's an addiction. I can't help it. And look what I got. I borrowed a little Lincoln wire feed welder. That's right. My, um, actually my boss Mel lent me his welder so that I can fix low and slow. I had to think about which truck I was working on because I got some great news. I can't contain myself. <laughs> look at that. You know what they say? Well, I don't know what they say, but um, I got some stuff for Kenny. It's exciting. I know I'm excited too. So let me show you. So <laughs> in this vlog, I, <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I should, uh, you know, play hard to get, whatever, keep it secret. You know, try and woo people on, <laughs> woo people on, drag people on so you stay till the end of the video, but that's lame. Maybe we'll do that another day. <laughs> but look what I got. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Am I in focus? Can you see my eyes? You know what? I've had girls tell me that I got nice, nice eyelashes. I don't know. Creepy. You went too far, Mike. You went too far. So, this is, uh, try and get my, now, don't be alarmed by the messy bench. Well, you could be alarmed, because I got a messy mess going on. I got my um, door lights for, for, um, Kenny, and I'm rewiring it to the plugs and so that I can use, because right now, and I know I'm getting segued, but, uh, so these are the lights that I found at Princess Auto that I did a little woo -woo video on, but basically they use uh, a two, a two prong, two prong, it's not really a two prong, but they use a light that doesn't ground to the housing. That's probably a better indication. Better indication or better answer? It's a 42, 1142. Have you ever heard of 1142? I never either until just now. So that's how they do it. They got two prongs and two wires, which, which works. You know, I could wire these up to the door plug on La Kenworth, but I want to put <laughs> LED bulbs in. So these are red LED bulbs, but they've only got a single post. See, can you see it? Can you focus camera? Nope, can't focus. So what I did, I, um, I had another light. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. I put a single post thingamajigger in there. And that's my technical term for a single post thingamajigger is thingamajigger. So if you're ever wondering what a thingamajigger is, it's a single post thing in there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder another wire to the, to the housing here so that, um, so that it grounds to the housing and then I'll put the plug on to plug into the Kenworth wiring. So, but that's for another day. This is left over from my lights. I got the old peat emblems. Ma! Like the peat emblems. But this is the exciting part. Here's my Crooked Kenny, Crooked Kennyworth sign. I'll just, yeah, that's not, that's not going to fit there. Shop's a little dusty. I might have to dust the walls. <laughs> Wonder how that happened. I think you know exactly how that happened. Anyways, so. <laughs> this is so exciting. It's like Christmas. I mean, it's not Christmas, but it's kind of like Christmas. And you know, what the, <laughs> it's like Christmas for dads. Cause you know why? Cause we got to pay for everything. <laughs> so this is like a present for me that I paid for by me. <laughs> so, look what I got from the Kenworth store. Oh! I got a bug for Kenny. Um, but this actually is, but look at, now, I don't know, I guess this is aluminum, but look at how shiny that is. Like, come on camera, focus on that. Like, that's shiny. That is really shiny. Um, now, the biggest downfall to this, oops, 
Um, the grill piece that, that goes behind this notch that's only that long, discontinued, can't get it. So if you guys know of one out there or if you see one, keep me in mind because I still be looking. But you know it isn't discontinued. <laughs> and this is exciting. Are you ready? Are you ready? Should I do it? Ta-da! That's right, a brand new bug. <laughs> the Kenworth emblem. The Kenworth emblem they call the bug. I don't know why they call it a bug. I mean, I guess it's kind of like if you thought of this as a spider with legs on each end. I guess that's why they call it a bug. Um, but yeah, bought these at the Kenworth store, and let me tell you, they were not cheap, but they did give me a little bit of a discount. <laughs> and when I say a bit of a discount, it was a little discount, but I am forever grateful for that because you know what? I got a couple Kenworths in my fleet, and sometimes you need Kenworth proprietary parts, so can't go buy this at Peterbilt. I absolutely love this. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get new Kenworth emblems for the side though. You know what I would like for the side emblems? I was thinking about this. I would like to make something similar to the side emblems because it just says Kenworth and make it say Kenny. How cool would that be? That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. That's where, that's where if any of y'all have a 3D printer, make me a Kenny. I'd be, I'd be pretty grateful because you know it's Ken worse. So if you had the Ken like in the same font, same raised lettering, same spacing as the Kenworth emblem, but this added another N and a Y, so it's Kenny. That's what I want to do. But um, baby steps. I just can't wait to open this. I was a little worried that 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 this part wouldn't be the same, but uh, oh. Oh, look at that. That's jewelry right there. That's jewelry for men. Like, yeah. And, and you know why I bought this for Kenny rather than just looking in a junkyard? Is this is his identity. Because KW, Kenworth, Kenny's a Kenworth. And this is like, it's like his identity. You know, it's like, it's like his man card. You know, you know, because he's not a Peterbilt. So you can't pretend he's a Peterbilt, he's a Kenny. So, and then this, it's actually pretty cool how the bug has like the raised KW underneath, um, <laughs> except for that hole. So like if this came off, like you could just paint that and, and it would be, well paint it and polish it. But this, it's got 3M tape and then it just goes like that. Got your Kennyworth and your side piece. <clears throat> so, and I think, well I guess, I don't know, I almost think this would huck bolt on maybe to, to hold it, but, oh, probably not a huck bolt, but one of those um, speed nut things that you just push over, the thread off, maybe? Is this threadable? I think it is threadable. Is it threadable? Oh yes it is. What are the threads for? I don't know. Sorry. You guys probably didn't need to need to witness that. Hmm. It does thread though. I wonder if I have a nut that would work. I wonder if I have a nut in my collection of miscellaneous fasteners like this one right here. Is this going to work? No. Which means it's metric. I got to find the right metrics. Um and you know what? I went to town this morning and I should have checked to see if I needed any hardware for this because I want to put this on Mr. Kenny. But um, but I'm guessing that this is a metric nut. <laughs> it ain't easy being green. Actually, I'm not green. I'm wearing my Peterbilt Mike hoodie off of spring. I actually lowered the prices on all of it. And you know, <laughs> that's the wrong thing to do when you're selling it. What I should have done is had a sale and just put big sale, buy your hoodie, buy your sticker. Um, but instead I just lowered the prices because sometimes I'm not very smart. Um, but anyways, if you want one, they're there. Um, not bad quality, you know, it starts to flake off a little bit maybe, but it's cozy. 
I think the quality of the pullover hoodies is good. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like it like that. Oh gosh, I am. <laughs> I'm a little hyper and I don't know why. <laughs> I was talking to the kids today because that's what I did. We drove to town and I got them their booster shots. And um, so we picked up Tim Hortons. We got you know, some breakfast sandwiches and got some donuts. We got some fat person food. Shouldn't have got it, but eh, you know what? It's kind of like going to the dentist or going to the doctor. You know, you kind of feel like you need that comfort food. So I call it fat person food. Um, but we were talking about drugs and um, addictions. And the kids said, you know, caffeine is a drug. And I was like, I need to get me some of my drug because I'm an addict. Anyways, there's more things to be addicted to. Like, I was going to say cab overs, but that's really, you know, that's not an addiction. It's perfectly normal. Um, and, you know, I just had that nut. This is probably why a person should clean up their workstation. Because I had, oh, there it is, a stainless Bort nut. Oh, and it fits. See, that fits. Can you see it? Yep, there we go. I'll hide behind it. There you go. Um, so that's good. So stainless hardware works so we can bolt this bad boy on because, oh yes, we're going to bolt this bad boy on. But first, we need to put our emblem on. We need to stick it. So I want to make it, you know, it's a little bit wiggly if you look. So we want to get it centered as best as we can. I wonder if we should test fit it first. Nah. I say we wing it. Should we wing it? I think maybe sitting it down on the top because I, I like that look better than that look. That just doesn't look quite right. That looks better. Can you see it? It's not focusing. Come on, camera, focus. Like that. See, I don't like that. I like that. So let's do that. You know what? You know what they say? God hates a coward. So actually God probably doesn't hate a coward because you know what? I think he's, you know, kind of has to like everybody. <laughs> it's kind of like being a dad. Can't have any favorites. Which I kind of relate to. I don't have any favorites with my kids. I don't think. I mean, no. <laughs> They're all different in their own right, right? They're all they're all different human beings. That's kind of the neat thing is no two people have to be the the same. So, well, this isn't stressful at all, Mike. Don't make your Kenworth crooked, or you'll be you'll be disappointed. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. So, there we go. Stick it. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I love it, I love it. You know how much this costs though? <laughs> this was not cheap. Um, each piece was like $300, so it was $600. But I got a deal, I think I got them for like 280-ish or 287 or something, so not a big discount, but it's still a discount. So $600 after taxes for this little doohickey right here. And the question is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like this. The question is, was it worth it? Was it worth it, Mike? And the answer is absolutely. Because, you know what? I know I'm Peter about Mike, but Kenny's gonna love his new bug. There's another nut. I think that's a, is that, no, that one fits. It's another stainless nut. And there's another stainless nut. What else do we have in Mike's junk pile? Another little nut. Does this little nut work? Holy cow, it does work. And it's a nylock nut. So, we're, we're, we're doing good, guys. We are doing fan-freaking-tastic. Just fan freaking tastic. I just need one more. Well, that's a, but that's not a nylock. Well, no, that is a nylock, you dingus. Do I want to use nylocks? Maybe I should. If I can find 
two more. So, put my boovridge there. Put this down for safety. Don't want to mark up the bug. Don't want to mark up Kenny's bug. See kids, that's the noise you make when you're pushing 50. That's right. It's going to be my 50th birthday year 2022. But that's okay. Because you know what they say. Having a birthday or getting another birthday is a privilege. So. You know what? I should really throw... <laughs> I should really throw the garbage in the garbage. Oh, hey. Hey, look at that. Another stainless nylock. Makes me happy. It makes me happy. It makes me happy. I know what you guys are thinking. Mike, don't quit your day job. I won't. I like my day job. <laughs> 10 millimeter. The elusive. The elusive 10 millimeter. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. It's probably redundant being that it's 3M Dawn, but I really don't want to lose my bug because it was expensive, right? Was not cheap. There. Oh, love it. A little. That a little smudgy. Smudged her already, Mike. There we go. Love it. Love it. In a non-gay kind of way. Okay, let's go put the sucker on. Oh yeah. Ah. Open our flippy flap. Said, I need a screwdriver. Oh yeah. Let's just give it a little. There we go. That is so annoying. figure it out. So I think I'm gonna have to loosen this and move it over, but uh, but I really wanna put this on, so we're putting it on now. When are we putting it on? Right now. Why? Because it's cool. If you've been a mechanic at all, you'll know how the dexterity in your fingertips is so critical to making stuff work. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. I like it already. Where'd the nut go? Ah, there it is. <sighs> Found it. Whew. Shouldn't wind a person just standing up, but. You know, it doesn't look too bad considering it's missing this piece, but it would look a lot better if I had that piece. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Seems like it's worse than it was before. <laughs> I kind of love this. Get that lined up. Oops.
There. Oh, I wonder. I'm gonna see if I can, can I get in there to loosen this? Might have to put the cab up. Just to move it over like a fraction of an inch. There's a nut there, not there, not there, not there. But uh, let's put this down. Let's put this down. those nuts. Bolts. Dang it. But look at that! Ha! How does that look? That looks good. So we just need the little bitty stainless there. I've got another one of these. It's a little bit it's probably a little bit better than this one. It's got chewed up a little bit around one of the bolts here. Um, and this, these bolts that I put on are affecting it to close right flat. So that's a, that's a development. But it looks better, it looks way better than not having one. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks better? I like it. So that Kenny has his own identity. <sighs> now we just need to get that visor on here one of these days and um, I'll have to, it's, it's snug, you see it's got the little latch there to hold it so I'll just pull that down. So that works but it's these right here and now these holes were drilled out so that's why that's why I put those in there. Um, I could probably see if I have something flatter or, um, or put that other chrome grill piece on and, um, and huck bolt this on. Cause I'm gonna huck bolt these on as well. I'm gonna borrow a huck gun one day to huck it on and then I can huck this piece on. But for now, I think you just give it a little flexi. I think it's good enough. It's not perfect, but for today, it's good enough. All right, guys, I'm not completely satisfied with that. So what I'm doing is I'm spacing the emblem out with three washers to make up the gap for what the chrome trim would be. Um, and then I'm gonna try loosening off these bolts that hold the grill on if I can get in there. And uh, righty tighty lefty Lucy. <laughs> I did that. Um, yeah, see if I can get this sucker to move over just that fraction of an inch. So, because it doesn't need much. You know, shame on me in that last video I did of this to not loosen this up a bit when I try to tap it over. So the denser, dense grill denser is bolted to this. And I just want to move this over. So I'm going to loosen these a little bit. Probably gonna work a lot better. Hey. And I want something a little sturdier than this pine board. So the problem with the pine board is it just dents. That 
was exactly what I needed. Oh, look at this, guys. And this is why you should do it right the first time. Because I was going to leave it and Mickey Mouse it or... Yeah. Look at this. Now... I just need to lower this a bit. Okay. So now, line it up with the hole. Space it out one more washer. Maybe two. Yeah, two more washers. That's what we're gonna do. Money. Money, I say, money. It's spaced out a bit, but you really can't even tell. And that way it'll keep it from rattling too. So I'm gonna tighten up these other bolts now. I'm gonna have to uh, ream this one bolt out, but that'll be fine. use a new stainless bolt. Put this on the inside. It's a double out. Oh gosh. There. Oh, that looks so freaking good. Look at that. Isn't that better, guys? Just trying to figure out if it's crooked, though. Just loosening it a very slight amount. I think that's better. What do you think? <laughs> oh, oh, I love this so much. <sighs> Having a hard time containing my excitement. Can't see it because my head's in the way though. Yeah, it's definitely better, guys. So now I just need the piece to go behind it, under here to go like there, but that looks so much better. I think when we paint Kenny, I'll probably put a different grill piece on because this one has holes there. Um, so hopefully I can find a better one. I do have one um, that's in better shape than this, but it does have a little bit of rust on it. Not much, but Maybe I can get it re-chromed, but... I'm very happy with that, guys. Very, very happy. Like, oh, that just looks so good. So good. Now, and if we get right up close and personal, you can see that it is sticking out a bit, but I've got this bolt head screw head, pardon me, here. Um, it's out probably more than it needs to be, 
But the nice thing is, because it, you know, you can see it on a bit of an angle there. Um, but when I get this piece, it'll go back there. And when I change out this, it'll go flush. But the nice thing is, it's not touching to rattle. And it closes like butter. And from, you know, head on, head on, it just looks sick. And that's, you know, sick in a good way. So I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, love it. Love it. Okay, so I'll show you guys the other thing that I did. Um, I didn't record it because I figured it was probably be boring. Ugh. But I moved the camera. So <laughs> remember I put the camera up there, which worked okay. And then I tied the wires to this, which this doesn't move when the cab goes up. So I changed it. I had a couple of CB brackets. I clamped onto this bar and put the, uh, the camera there. So this way, when I load stuff on this deck, at least um, I don't have to worry about knocking the camera off. So we're gonna give that a whirl. And uh, I need to pull this off. I, I'll pull this off and strip the paint and clean it up. But next, I gotta continue working on low and slow and get that windshield in. But Kenny, I wanted to drive him to work last week, but I got his dash apart because I'm still putting it together. So let's go look at that. So <laughs> I got my dash piece in. I'll turn a light on here. It's not a very good light. I um, JB welded it, cleaned it up. I've got this tape on it to hold it in place. Um, I actually was able to get a bolt in it, which you can see there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna clean it up, sand it, finish it maybe a little bit when it's done. But um, I also moved a bracket. There's a little bracket right down in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Here, I'll get a light. There's a little metal bracket in there right there that um, this bottom screw holds to. So I moved that forward so it could grip better. <laughs> oh, look at that magnet. But um, anyways, so I did that so I can put this dash back together. And the other thing I did, if we look back here and let's turn my light around, I found a clock right there to fill the hole. So, Oh, and we got Kenny Koala. Kenny Koala. Kenny the Koala. Kenny Koala. Is he Kenny the Koala or just Kenny Koala? I mean, he's a koala and his name's Kenny, so I guess it's Koala. Or we just call him Kenny. So we got Kenny back there guarding the fort. I'm going to get, you know, I was thinking about getting, well, I'm not thinking about it. I'm, I'm going to get some, some sheets for back there to put on the bed. And I was thinking how fun it would be to do a camp out in the cab over. Hey, you know what, like overnight camping, but, um, but yeah, so that clock that I got, it doesn't actually work, which is a bit of a bugger. I plugged it in, the light comes on, but yeah, it doesn't work. So it's there for looks and it's probably just as well. Cause it would just kill the battery anyways. But, um, Oh, you know what we should do? We should plug or turn on the camera and see what it looks like. So where's the plug in? There we go plug it in. I kind of like the cigarette lighter thing. You know what? And we'll turn on, can't remember if it's second or third. There we go. Oh, that's a better view. What do you think of that? I think that's better. You know, I really should pull this, this little piece of plastic thing off. This could be incredibly satisfying. Look at that. Whew, that looks good. That looks really good. So, 
And I did end up getting uh, the three more cameras, so I'm gonna hook those up too. And uh, then we're gonna have a uh, uh, quad view, I guess. I was gonna say 3D view, but it's gonna be quad view because I wanna have one facing forward. If it, you know, because you can put a memory card in there. So I'm gonna have one facing forward uh, and one on each mirror. Um, one over there, of course, facing down. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers, so if you'd like to, maybe smash that thumbs up button, leave a little comment down below, tell me what you think of the channel, and uh, it'll help the algorithm, algorithm to possibly help us get to 30,000 subscribers. Now, I'm thinking about having contests when I hit the milestone, so. So we'll see, we'll see if I can do it at 30,000, but if you'd like to share one of these videos, pick your favorite Peterbilt Mike video, share it on Facebook, Instagram, share it with your friends, tell a buddy, and um, yeah. Thanks guys, much appreciated. Until next time, Peterbilt Mike, out! <laughs> it's like peace. <laughs> out, man! Hey Matt, you know what? I, I gotta just try and not look at the camera, like the, well, the viewfinder because I like to do this because then I can look at myself and they say that's why you should wear That's why you should wear That's why you should wear sunglasses. So So anyways guys, thank you very much much appreciated Peter Bolt Mike. Oh Let's do something fun here Is This is creepy My old man Droopy eyes. Battery, battery low, battery low. <laughs> okay, now we gotta get get that done. I got a welder here too. Yeah, I'm gonna go look at the emblem again because I just love it. Kenny's got his identity back, and he's not having an identity crisis. Oh. Love it! See you later, guys.